Alright, hey guys, Mitch here from the Audio Dabbler YouTube channel, and today I'm going to take a part three look at how to do an iOS video tutorial. And today I'm going to focus on how to do it with your Mac. There's a whole, there's a lot of different ways you can do it, but I like using this software that you see on the screen. It's called Open Broadcast Systems, and I will bring the window to the forefront. And as you can see, it is free. Um, it's for Windows, Mac, and Linux, and it works really well. So, and basically what it is it's a type of screen capture it's, I mean it's a screen capture software but you have down here the in the scenes you have all different types of scenes you can switch between really quickly and so if you have multiple screens like I do I can go I have something on my no I don't want to update if I have something on my actual laptop screen then you know I can show it and then I can switch back to my external monitor that I have it's an Acer which is why it's called Acer screen um, I can show just my iPad which I have connected via the USB cable or through the lightning cable connected to the computer and then you just launch QuickTime it at all right let me go back to Acer screen so you launch you hit new movie and then when the new movie comes up it'll usually default to the FaceTime and you just click guys iPad or not guys iPad because unless you have my iPad but you click on your own iPad and that'll do it and so everything on the screen now you know my secret code well I don't know my own secret code but you can it records and it's pretty quick let's see oh and it'll do landscape so it's you know it's fairly responsive so all right, and how I usually do, so that's how I get my screen. And so let me bring this back up here. Actually, let's actually use the scene buttons. Um, let me move my face down here. You have stop recording, but this right here would say start. You can also use this for streaming. So I could stream this directly to YouTube. I have it set up. You can stream it directly to YouTube, so that would be interesting. Uh, I think we're going to try some live streaming stuff eventually, but not right now. So let's go back to the this screen, and so <clears throat> whatever you want, you can you can bring it up and play around with it. Now, how I get the audio, how I'm recording the audio is I'm using the Zoom H4M Pro that I got over the holidays and I have it in four channel mode and so you got four channels you got one and two or you got the mic and then you got one and two which are these guys right here and that is a quarter inch to oh. Actually, hit the stop button, but now it should be back synced. But it's a 3.5 millimeter jack. And so, one thing that you will need to kind of remember is to plug this, plug this into the iPad afterwards, after you plug the lightning cable in, because for whatever reason, it likes to default sending audio out of this. <coughs> But if you plug this in, after you plug this into the computer, then you'll get audio. And I will test that. I love this app. Oh. Can't 
hear it. What is playing? One second. There we go. Now I can hear what's going on, so. So you can do your little tutorial, do whatever you want to, you know, change screens, you know, blah, 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 bring up whatever. And then once you hit stop, It will record. Let me jump it a little ahead. Um, so let's go to the mixer. So right now I just have the mic set up. Let me go. I guess the easiest way to be pull it up here so we can actually see the settings. I guess studio settings right here. Okay, so we got a, quite a few settings in here we can play around with. That's where I have my stream. I can't show you my stream key. Streaming. So you have a streaming setup. So you can have a completely different setup for streaming. Recording. You can change all this and it'll show you the audio tracks. And then the actual audio. And if you go here, I have mic, built-in microphone. I don't have any interfaces right now plugged in, but you don't have to necessarily use an external. You can use your audio interface or whatever you want to get audio into it, but I still um, could not, it was a little bit of a sync issue. I'm not for sure if it's how I have the video encoded or what but it seems a tiny bit off and so I just I like the having more control and so with this I get two tracks I get the iPad audio and I get my voice and I can mix those a little bit whenever I bring it into Final Cut sync them up and everything works great so I'm trying to think anything else Oh yeah, so whenever you do record, it will put it, default puts it in movies, uh, and it'll be the date and the time, I have them saving as mp4, and then what I do is, bring that to the laptop screen now yeah yeah every time it yells at me but so then I just bring it into Final Cut create a new um, <coughs> event I am nowhere near a Final Cut master I have I don't know a lot about it at all. I just know that I can drag video in, I can sync it, I can do some minor adjustments. And then I can share it 1080p HD which uh don't do if you have Final Cut, I don't know if you've had any issues. I had some issues trying to go directly to YouTube. So I just I found a tutorial online from someone and he suggested he suggested to just do a straight export change your destination and do the 1080p like I have and then upload it from YouTube that way and so I guess I hope I covered everything enough and so, yeah, basically, I guess I'll do a kind of an overview or a recap 
of what I want, what I'm doing. I'm using open broadcast system, obsproject.com to record. And that's what this software is. And here's the website. And then I just hit bring it up. I got my screen that I want. Hit record. It helps to have two monitors. So that way you don't have this on the screen. You can have that on the screen, which is absolutely nothing right now. But I can quit Final Cut. And see, I have my iPad up because I brought it up. I'm not recording. Now, you could record if you just wanted your iPad and not your face or anything else. You could record just with your iPad and just make a movie through QuickTime of whatever you're doing on your iPad, and that would work. That would probably be maybe simpler, but I just like, I like the OBS software, and so I use it. Two screens help. I'm trying to think if there's any other quirks. I have the Mac mic audio going in so that I can sync it. And a lot of times what I'll do is so I can visually see, I can hear it with here and that I can hear it through the mic, I will clap. And I'll kind of use that as my reference point to sync the audio up. And once I get the claps in sync, I know the rest is in sync and then I can just trim trim and go from there mm, anything else so how I guess I could go through you can um, add a new scene and the scenes are whatever you want so I could call this test one okay so obviously there's nothing on test one and so if I wanted to just window capture I could go window capture I could go QT one which will be QuickTime one and then I can select QuickTime player movie recording because it's up and there you go and then you can hit OK and then you can drag that large if you want to of course you're not actually seeing my your screen you just saw that get bigger and then if I wanted to add my face let me bring that back up and so what I did I you saw me do that on test and so I just clicked add window capture I called it QT1 so I'll call this one QT2 and then I can do QuickTime movie recording and hit OK and then you can drag that in the scene however you want to and this works as kind of layers, and so if I want this behind my video capture device, which is my face, then I can just drag it down. If I wanted the Acer screen above all of that, then you could do that. So it works kind of kind of like in layers, or don't kind of like in layers. It does work in layers. Um, let's see. You can get to the settings. So yeah, I guess so. That's how you can do that. I just like it because you can quickly, you know, I have one that's just, I call it Keynote, but it's just bringing up the Acer screen. Um, just I, Jesse, Jesse iPad, uh, right there, that is my, I don't know where it's at right now, but my Microsoft 1080p HD Studio webcam. And so that is that. Um, let me bring back the Acer screen. Get rid of that. Okay, let me move this. You can you and I like it because you got a runtime right here, so you can see how long you've been yapping. Um, you can stream with it. I plan on doing some stream stuff with it, you know, sometime, maybe. And that's about it. So Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.